Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Shenanigans 3, 2, and 1. So happy to be here. A lot, a lot to go through. So with that being said, today we are going to do another Timu haul. Again, lots and lots of things to go through. I actually tried to separate a lot in the package because... As you'll see, a lot of it is for my bathroom that I am doing completely over, minus the paint and little things here and there on a Timu budget. A uh, couple things, let me introduce myself. We have quite a few new subscribers, and I am so happy you are here. So welcome to the family, as well as my devoted followers, friends, as I now like to refer to you. Welcome back. Um, so on this platform here on YouTube, mainly, number one, I do Timu hauls. It's the only hauls that I do outside of a couple recipes here and there, some date nights, family time. Pretty soon, I think we're going to launch. Uh, Jay is my significant other of eight years, and I think pretty soon we're going to launch a travel channel. Now, I had a dilemma. I am a flight attendant. I only have two days off. And again, tons and tons of stuff to do, not just the Timu stuff, but I really want to look into how to edit, how to pause my videos, how to add cute little screenshots on the side, how to do that button when you go. If you have not yet liked and subscribed and you like me and my content, please do so now. I trust many of you will do that as many of you have already done so. With that going forward, I will try not to get too tongue-tied today. I did get a little sleep. It was a very busy day. Uh, Jay and I, we woke up, uh, went to the park, went on a little hike, played some frisbee golf. Uh, I stink, but he did uh, pretty well. Probably the best he's done. We've been, maybe this was our third or fourth time we've ever done that. And then we were going to go bowling, but the lanes were full. They didn't have open bowling, so instead... We played some pool, and out of five games, I won the last three. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then we went out to eat, tried out a new uh, sports bar. It's pretty good. But me and my absent-mindedness, I left my bag of food on top of the car. Prime rib at that. I had like two bites, was going to bring it home and enjoy it when I had more of an appetite. And it's uh, about a 15-minute drive, so... Pun intended, I'm just going to eat it. Not literally, but forget about it. I don't want to go all the way back there. I've got too much to do. Go ahead and skip forward if you are already familiar how this all works. So I am a influencer. And with that being said, please go to the description box. If you are a new time user, take advantage of that coupon. I believe it's ACO256. You'll see it in the description link. When you're ready to place your order, do it as quickly as possible so you don't use that $100 coupon bonus. Always free shipping, free returns. I get my products usually in 7 to 11 days on average. If your order is delayed, you'll get a $5 credit. Typically free returns, always free returns. Sometimes you send it back, sometimes you don't have to. Take advantage of those price adjustments as well. When you finally get your package, if you have a broken product or something that just was not up to par, on your end, didn't match the description box. With that being said, always check the descriptions, especially with clothing, check the fabrics going forward. But if it's just not what you expected, a lot of times they'll say, keep it. And uh, you don't have to send it back, but it's free, sh free returns. Now with that being said, again, before I get into the haul, I um, have three of eight packages. Um, now, some of them have a lot of little things in them. Most of them are bigger. Uh, they come from different vendors. Again, a Timu is a platform you can shop like a billionaire, and I do. I find that the best form of, not just with this platform for this YouTube channel, is just their products. Like I have a work lanyard, and I have so many compliments on that. More than anything, it was like 70 cents. Um, rings um, that I'll rock that are Timu. Somebody say, where did you get that ring? It's so unique. Take advantage of the opportunity. I don't have to sell anything. Timu sells itself. And I go ahead and tell them about everything that I've fallen in love with, with Timu. So, yeah, Timu, you heard me. I love you. 
Um, with that being said, for those of you that are not familiar, every 1,000 subscribers I have, I like to give giveaways. Typically, it's $100. And depending on how I'm feeling that month, maybe I'll pick four names. I'll give you, give or take, about a week to respond. If you have Cash App or Venmo, that is my number one choice to send money. I don't use Zelle. I want you to treat yourself. I don't want you to feel obligated to use Timu, although I do feel you'll get more bang for your buck if you do. If you don't have Cash App, if you don't have Venmo, or you prefer to pick out your own Timu products, and let's say I draw your name and I'm given four winners for $25 each, send me a link to the description link that you want and uh, we'll exchange information. I'll send it your way. Ask Wendy. <laughs> she was one of our winners when we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. Again, I tongue twisted. My words are always blah, blah, blah. Uh, with that being said, um, we are at almost 1,600 subscribers. I mean, literally, it was maybe two weeks ago that I gave away the prizes for my last winner. So when I hit that 2,000 mark, that 3,000 mark, I will be figuring out how we are going to get some presents to you. How do you win? Number one, you've already got the first step down. You're here. Two is leave me a comment in one of my videos and you are automatically in the drawing. Now, going forward, for those of you who have been here and watched a few of the previous videos, any hate comments, any negativity, you're just going to be blocked and deleted. You have a choice just as I do and you don't have to be here. So you will not be in the drawing. I don't think it's fair to everybody else after long consideration. And that's how it works. So again, when I reach that 2000 mark, I will be doing a video and telling you once again, to remind you of the rules and how to play along and take advantage of that winning. Um, with that being said, these are all the names that were in the last drawing. I'm just randomly pulling out some names. A lot of you have been with me from the beginning and I appreciate you so much, but I want to see that you are still here. For instance, I have Tracy Smith, 9965. You're going back in the bowl. This is the Lucky Timu Bowl. So Tracy Smith, you will still be in that drawing. Again, I'm just randomly selecting them. They'll be mixed up. I've got Karen Bond, 614. You're still in there. Who else we got? I've got Linda Pokey. You're still in there. And again, if you were one of my winners on the last giveaway we had, I am going to pull your names to the side just to be fair. I want to give everybody a fair shot. Rhonda Ray, 4350. You're still in there. Now, I could spend an hour pulling all these names. Teresa, 62-ish. You're in there. Adrian Miller, 702. You're still in there. Again, it's blurry, but I just want you to see your names. So what we're going to do... Oh, all these names back in the bowl. We're going to toss the salad back in the bowl. But thanks to Hey Everybody, Aaron um, really helped me out by telling people about my channel. And I've had a lot of subscribers come on board since then. A new one is Heaven Sent. Guess what? Heaven Sent 928. You're going to be in the drawing. I'm just going to grab some random ones here. Just want you guys to see. Michelle. Damien, 3853, you're in there. Who else we got? We got Vanita Bolden, you're in there. Let's go. Kelly Thunder, you're in there. Sammy Lynn, 93, you're in there. I just like to fold them over once. All the pieces of paper are relatively the same size. We got Tanya's, where's my old lady glasses? Tanya's Sidner, uh, 8189. Anyway, I want to fold these up so that they're relatively folded the same way. I am going to try to be a little bit more organized. There's another one, Seeming Yummy is in there. Again, I said having sent. We've got Janet. Wall Pixie, we've got Tabby Hall's Everything Gels, we got 
Claudette Hernandez, 4036. Now, again, you can skip a hall, head to the hall. Linda Dingus, 3343. But I'm going to get back to that because I do want to take my time. But anybody who's left any comments, again, since that 1,000 mark, you're automatically in there. All the new subscribers, you are now in this drawing. Good luck, everybody. Stay tuned so I can let you know when we reach that 2,000 mark. Now, if you haven't grabbed yourself a drink, go ahead. I got water. Kind of wish I would have had my wine. Got my vape. Don't judge me. A couple other things. If you've seen some of my previous hauls, you'll know that I had uh, told anybody that if you had a channel, I want to get your name out there. I love seeing new haulers, new products, whether it's crafting or recipes. It doesn't have to be Timu. Um, but I have a couple channels that I have since subscribed to and really enjoyed, and I think you will too, so be sure to check them out. Again, leave your channel link in the comment section, and you will be surprised how many people will check you out. So my friends, go check out Paranormal Nora. It's P-A-R-A-N-O-R-M-A, -A -A. so it's like para, the name Norma, and then L-N-O-R-A. Paranormal Nora, sorry. Paranormal Nora, N-O-R-A. He also got Lolita Creations, L-O, is it L? Lotita or Lolita, I think it was. I can't understand my own handwriting, sorry. Creations. We got Nona's here, 9811 with Grumpy Grandpa, I told you about before. Missy Cooking on a Budget. I watched some of her videos on how not to throw anything away, leftovers. She's got some great ideas. She had a really different mac macaroni salad that I'm going to have to try out. She put some cucumbers in there. Um, we also have Tabby Hall's Everything Gels, G-E-L-S, Tabby, T-A-B-B-Y, Hall's, H-A-U-L-S, Everything, and then G-E-L-S. Uh, we also had a Snow, uh, S-N-H-W-A-D-D-E. And can you see my horrible penmanship? So those are some of the channels that I have been checking out. And, uh... I suggest you do the same. S N H W A D D E N. Now, my friends, this again is going to be a long haul and we are going to get to it, but I should have brought a pillow. And I know it's rude to leave company, but I think with my back issues, I'm going to have to go grab a throw pillow. You can see I got some of my St. Patty's Day decorations up right there. I'll let you sit there and enjoy them. I go get a pillow. Sorry. Hello again. Sorry. Had to grab my pillows. Got one of my uh, St. Patty's pillows. They're so cute. And, uh, yeah, these chairs are not the most exciting, nor are they comfortable. Let's see. Can you guys see me all right? You see my puppet in the back? I've been practicing that. I did use it. had some kids on the flight, and they really, really liked it. All right. Let's get into it. What is the mark? So I can tell people in the description to jump ahead to, say, 13 minutes so you can see what I got. I did try to be a little more organized. I've got my trash bin out, but again, I'm surrounded by bags. I've got baggage. First product. Was $12. Sorry, y'all. I know it's a bad habit. I'm working on it. $12 and 49 cents. And it kind of came out of the box when I went to price it for you. Keep in mind what I paid for it might be less for you. I did get quite a few price adjustments. It's got the screws and the little bracket. Again, this is for the bathroom. I have to get my girl Kelly to come over and help me because when I tell you my eyesight's bad, my pictures are usually like dip into the side. And people come in and they have to stand on one foot to make it straight. So not my forte. Anyway, um, it's got these hooks. I'm not even sure how to put it up. I'll have to read the description, but you can see just the screws for the back and the hooks. 
You know what I really want to do? Let me know if you guys have done this or what you think. I think it's called poly resin and it's where they pour like this acrylic type gel over the countertops as opposed to replacing old cabinets or countertops and you can make swirly designs and it's kind of cool. I'm pretty simple, pretty classic. Again, you can see I like the farm set stuff. My dream is to have a log cabin in the mountains surrounded by maybe three acres of land for my gardening. Animals are cool. I mean, obviously when I retire, got the bracket holder. And if you have not guessed already, it's a toilet paper holder. And I tried to get all the same shades of browns, but I figured, you know what? I don't want it to look too hotelish. I want to add my own little charm to it. But yeah, it's simple, right? Or is it? How to figure it out. So the brackets, I guess, would hook. Well, there's the holder. I'm assuming that would be the front and it would go something like this. I think you would put the hooks in here to hold it and then it would go like that. So yeah, I'm going to switch up the bathroom. Now what I do do for the holidays, like Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day, go back and check out some of my previous videos. If you haven't seen them, I'd like to give you a tour when I have the decorations up. And again, I don't have a whole lot of St. Patty's Day stuff. I have uh, mainly Christmas. I'm going to put that there because i got to separate that. Mainly Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, and then St. Patty's Day in that order. Let's not get a screw loose. I already suffer from that. Look at me. I'm so organized. Look at it. Think smarter, not harder, right? I even brought paper so I can, if I have makeup in here, which I'm not sure, I can test the colors on that. Next product is a four piece set also for the bathroom. And you'll see the shower curtain and everything. I'm still waiting on a few other things, but this was $21.78. I believe I got $3 back on it because the price went down. And it is a four piece towel set. Now here's the thing. With my ADHD, my OCD, I do like the same shades of green. Like I really was hoping this was darker. Again, being colorblind doesn't help much. But it is, you got your bath towel. Let me stand up. I bought this shirt at the airport. It was like $25. So it's got the ribbed, slightly ribbed fabric. I got to tell you, I am impressed. Like for just a four piece towel set, um, it is really, really soft. And it says it's bright tea. I guess, I think that's the name. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see. Um, I think that's the name of the color, not the company. 40% cotton, 60% bamboo fiber. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty. And you'll see the towel rack I got. My bathroom's not really that big. And I got a lot of bathroom stuff, but we do have two bathrooms. But I don't like to mess in his bathroom. <laughs> I like to, you can clean up your own shaved hair in the sink. Um, and then again, the four piece set, you got your washcloth. Show you, it's just a, it's, the green on it is really pretty, don't get me wrong. And then you've got your hand towel. So we got the bath towel, the hand towel. And I think it's two washcloths. It is. It's two washcloths. And it just says bright tea. Again, getting back to some of your comments. Um, really tried to respond to most of you. And I think I at least acknowledged you. But again, what do I say, you guys? I see you. So uh, having limited time. Someday, hopefully, what a dream this would be to have this as my full-time job to shop and review products. Yes, please sign me up. I'll take it. So I'm still waiting for a video to be sponsored. Haven't really gotten that. I've gotten a couple of free gifts here and there. Um, and I, I don't know. I think I'm an influencer because it said, welcome to the influencer program. I filled out some paperwork, but... I know I'm an affiliate, but pretty much pay for all my own products at this time. So again, four-piece towel set is 
and 78 cents. And I'm sorry, I'm so fidgety, you guys. Whew. I don't even know where to begin. I have so many bags here. So uh, this next product was, what is it? Did I price it? Lord have mercy, I think I didn't price one. Come on, Shannon. It says LED light. Did I forget to price it? That is a first. It is. I don't know. Huh. Sorry. I never not price. I always price. So, anyway, I'll guesstimate. This was about $7, maybe 11 I am so sorry, sinner. But it is, I did put the batteries in here, and this is why I don't know why I didn't price it, because I took it out, and the batteries weren't working, and so I uh, made sure, I mean, I'm sorry, it didn't have batteries, so I made sure I went in and put the batteries in. Now, if you've seen one of my other hauls, you'll notice I had these little Easter eggs that are ornaments. And I know some people have trees um, that they'll take their Christmas tree and just take down the Christmas decorations. And they'll put up Valentine's Day pink and lavender hearts. And then Easter, they'll do the Easter eggs on the actual Christmas tree. But uh, we only have less than 1,300 square feet living space. Um, just a little townhouse. Um, with that being said, this would take some finagling, but it is the wire branches. Now, what I love about it, it's almost like the um, birch. It's not like your regular tree. Can you see the marks on it? Like a, uh, what is that? Um, is it like an aspen or birch tree that has the white wood? Is it a, uh, I want to say it starts with a C. Is it the cotton tip? I'm thinking Easter cottontail. Is that? You guys help me out. Oh my gosh, it's going to drive me nuts. But anyway, it's not just your little tree. And of course, you know, you can use this for Christmas. You can use it for the fall. It get really creative with it. I love how the, the bridges bend. And this will be for Easter, of course. So again, I did put in the batteries, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was three AA batteries. It says product is LED light, voltage 10W, model is RW001, manufacturer Lin Hai, L I N H A I, wrong R O N G, well lighting C P L T D. Yeah. So, I apologize that I didn't get the price on that, but just look it up as a tree. If not, I will have to look up my past orders and see if I can help you guys find it. But I, I imagine it wouldn't be too hard to find. If it is, again, hit me a comment if you like it, and I'll try to figure out the price. Again, my guess would be anywhere from $7 to $14, realistically. Maybe 9 that on the floor because I know it's gonna fall. I don't even need a cat like low key or <laughs> I'll put it back in the box after. It's already gonna be a long haul. Next product. Ooh, can I save these? I'll get them out of the way. More bathroom stuff. Now I know this is so heavy. This might go down as the most expensive product I've gotten from Tino. And what they are is it's a floating shelf set for the bathroom. I paid $34.98. Now to get it out, see if it has a picture. I wish I could link pictures. So you can use it open. Can you see? And I think you can have different different uh, types of wood. Gives you the installation guard, 
It has all your tools, your anchors, the brackets. And once I get that bathroom completed, it's going to be a little while. Um, I will definitely show you before and after pictures. But it's got these grades. Now this is going to be a pain in the butt to dust. I can already tell. And I'm not thinking it goes like that. I'm thinking it goes like this. Okay. So there's... Or like that. It's going to go like that. Because you got to drill that into the wall. So I'm going to be facing the shelf like this. Then... Gosh. Love it. It's got a little lip on the shelf. Got the darker wood on this. And you can see the lips here, right? Where you would put your screws in. So yeah, it would go that way into the wall. And then whether or not this goes like that, or does it go like this? Because I saw it where I am not inclined to do this stuff. Maybe it goes like that. All right, this is going to bother me, even though it's not coming out for a while. Let's see. That looks like it would go like this. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Nope. <gasps> uh, you get the concept, right? I don't know if that, it can go like that, or it can go like that, or does it go like that? Anyway, it is a uh, floating shelf set. Let me see what pieces are in here. Jay is sleeping, he works, goes back to work tonight. I'm trying to be relatively quiet, but I'm loud. the brackets like I said. I want to say there's four pieces. Let's see. Um, wall board. It gives you the instructions. Okay, so I see. Let's see if you could see it like this on the bottom. So it looks like you just got two standard shelves and then that has the bottom. And the way I saw it in the picture, it had just rolls of toilet paper there. I'll probably roll up some of the fancier washcloths. But I got some little decorative pieces to go with it. So it looks like um, it's a three-piece set. Looks like you have two smaller and then the bin storage. Let me see. One. Two. Three. Three. And what did I tell you? That was almost $35. I want to set it down quietly. I'll be back. It's going to kill me. I'm so loud. And I just didn't want it to risk knocking it over. Sorry, I'm getting up and down. Again, not the most professional. We're just here to have a good time. Next product was $10.48. $10.48. So this I was thinking to put on the shelves. So this I was thinking to put on the shelves. I'm actually glad they weren't glass, number one, because I was worried about them breaking. Two, it's just harder to get the water, you know, marks out of it. And it is just like little organizer tumbler sets. And it is like acrylic. I'm going to take it out and set it up for you as best I can. This looks like a four piece, four piece set. And I really want to put all this out, but I definitely have to paint the bathroom first. I'm thinking of a light gray with the white border. Or, yeah, I mean, gray goes with everything pretty much, right? Let's get the lids on these. I want to give you the full effect, my friends. But really cute. And you know what? I guess I'm kind of a hoarder because I had the purple with the rhinestone bling in my bathroom. And I love it. I just had it for like 10 years. At least the colors. And I'm like, I want to change. And really, in the last year, gotten into the farmstead stuff. But um, I don't want to throw it away because it's in good condition. But... And again, by the time I want to switch this up again, something else will be in style. So maybe I'll donate it. 
I don't know, maybe I'll just send it out to a random person that likes to thrift and doesn't mind having used stuff. But you got your little tray, okay? Just your little wooden tray. And then you've got, you use it as your soap. I mean, you can use it for whatever, lotion. And then this with the hole on this tumbler, of course, your toothpaste and toothbrushes. Again, Jay and I both have our own bathrooms. And yeah, you could just set up your liquid soap with your toothbrush and toothpaste as I drop it. But I, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I, again, it is plastic, but for soap, I usually use the, what is it, the Bed Bath & Beyond or Body Shop. They're foaming soap. I love it. And I even get the little holders for it. I've got like five of them. Love that lather on the foaming soap. I love the different scents that they have, like for autumn or spring. Now, it also has these other two. These are the same size. Again, it's like an acrylic, but it does look like glass. Just simple, clean. Maybe some Q-tips, some cotton balls, or makeup sponges. Right? Or even if you just wanted, I could even do this. Switch it up. So I got my toothbrush holder, got my toothbrushes in there. I'll put my electric Timu toothbrush in there, the toothpaste, and then I got the tumbler, right? Could do that. Just uh, even use this for mouthwash if you wanted and just do a couple squirts in the little like sacrament cups. I don't know. Use your imagination. In pure imagination. Can you guys believe spring is coming? I mean, I don't know what the weather's like where you're at. Again, I was in Colorado Springs this week. I think, uh, where else was I? Is it Palm Springs? Or was that last week? Anyway, really cute. More bathroom decor. I am going to, I thought I would be more organized. But guess what? It's just going to go under the table for now. Because, again, a lot of these are bulky. Hope you guys are doing well. I love all of your comments. Next product. Let's see, ten dollars and ninety-eight cents. Should I just round it up to eleven? This is kind of a matching set, but again, you saw the floating shelves, right? And I'm not going to take. I'll take one out of the plastic for you. But it's the same exact thing as the other two I just showed you. This is a set of six, and they are all the same size. I have got tons and tons. I've got the toothpick flosser sticks, right? We could do that. And we could do six of them. We could do Q-tips. We could do the makeup sponges, like if you're putting on toner. I could even use this for the, um, so when we go to the hotels, they give us the makeup remover wipes, and I'll take them home and just stuff the envelopes in there. What else can I put in there? Any ideas? Give me some ideas on some things you would put in this in your bathroom. We got Q-tips, we got cotton balls, right? Band-aids. But again, there's six of those. So if you count the other two, there's eight. Just organize it on the shelves. Flip that bad boy upside down. <laughs> Trying to be quiet. All right. Again, this is mostly bathroom stuff. And I was going to keep it simple, but... I mean, I'm a simple woman as far as style. Hoodies, Levi's, stretch pants, hoop earrings, basic. Am I a basic B? Perhaps. I've been called worse. This was $15.27. What is it? I don't remember. Is it bathroom stuff? It is. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, so keep in mind everything I'm showing you now. Okay? And just envision. Envision this farmstead beautiful bathroom. Now, yeah, it's a townhouse, and yeah, it's a cute little brick house. Someday, put it out to the universe, the secret. I want a log cabin in the mountains with a little pond, a big oak tree with a tire swing, a gravel driveway so I can hear all the cars coming up, a good-sized porch with a nice little swing, maybe have some iced tea or morning coffee out, Old time mailbox, 
Yes, please. Now, one of the things when I first started dating Jay, I told him I wanted to be a foster mom. Um, little thing about me. I always throw out a little cue about who I am. Not where you've been, but where you're at, right? So I kind of grew up, um, I spent some time in foster care and group homes. Um, no family is perfect. Ours by any means wasn't either, but yeah. I always said I wanted to, uh, God decided when I was 25, I would not have any more children. I was blessed to have the three I do. I have a 33-year-old son, a 24-year-old son, and a 32-year-old daughter. Daughters in Florida. My oldest son and three grandkids are three hours south in Pekin, Illinois, outside of Peoria. And my youngest is in Las Vegas. My singer son, Devin, call him Hollywood. But I um, always wanted like 12 kids. And when God said, you can't have any more, I was like, I'm 25. I just had my last one. I can't be done. Yeah, granted, I had my oldest when I was 18 and started young. The God I believe in has a purpose for everything. And Jay's like, I don't want any more kids. You know, <laughs> we got grandkids. But anyway, I want a bigger house. So kind of switched up my dream. If I can't be a foster mom or adopt, you know what I'd like to do? I would love, love to have an Airbnb. Right? How amazing would that be? Just an old, old farmhouse, little fishing pond, nice garden with fresh vegetables so when I make the bed and breakfast in the morning and you know what I could always hire somebody like Courtney from our little gingerbread house or Missy from her budgets on a you know meals on a budget come and work for me in the kitchen but look at this I fell in love with these again you guys know I love silver what else do I love I love wood I love the farmstead stuff this was 15 27 each I mean for all three so you figure five dollars and seven cents a piece a little bit pricey yes but they are a good size i just wanted to fluff them up and what they look like to me like this one looks like time time won't give me time and time makes the others feel if you fall i will catch you i'll be waiting time after time or it could be rosemary don't know any songs with rosemary in it but how cute they look very realistic and you know what they're so simple yes i know all of you crafty people out there i could just get these little tins i could even get a glass from a thrift store the dollar store spray paint it silver get the burlap string tied in a knot there get some moss planters the inside foam from the dollar store and these things helping you guys out you probably already did this but yeah i would look Love to do that. That'd be a good Christmas gift idea, right? If you're on a budget, D Y I Christmas things. But I thought these would be really cute in the bathroom. Now, the silver would actually match the decor in the living room as well. Lots and lots of planners. I almost, almost went outside today to work on the garden to at least uh, till the soil and uh, pull some weeds. Let me adjust my big butt. But I was like, yeah, no. I already got my exercise out for the day. So, again, that was pretty much the bathroom. That is one bed. We're getting there. Where are we? I've got more. I'll just get on to the next one. I, I think it doesn't matter. You have a trash bag out or not because I'm like oh I don't want to knock this over and have it crash on the floor those shelves are heavy heavy definitely gonna be needing a stud finder you know I already found my stud but he's sleeping in the other room we'll get there all right let's continue shall we we shall all right so if you guys seen I brought out all my paints and acrylics Let's touch base on the post-traumatic stress disorder. I still got it. Um, well, again, I came home really cranky. Some days I'm just extremely irritable or I'll have a crying spell. Or the biggest thing that I notice that's consistent is I am guarded, like paranoid guarded. Um, 
all my passengers if they're sleeping or make sure their seat belts are up. Or usually sometimes if the seat backs aren't up in the upright position when we're landing or taking off, I'm just like, oh, they're sleeping or they're old or they got a baby. Now I'm like, don't put your seat up, put that tray table up, put that bag underneath the seat in front of you. It must fit completely under the seat, keeping that area around your feet clear. Why do we do that? Obviously, if the tray table's down and we stop abruptly, it's going to go right in here, break some ribs. I don't want you getting hurt on my flight. Anywho, tomorrow I have an appointment with my primary physician. Um, I've already been diagnosed with the uh, PTSD from the passenger that died on the plane in my arms. Shout out to my other flight attendant friends. I think there's three of them on this channel. Hi, guys. Um, Anyway, also we have some emergency workers, nurses, you guys already know. So you guys called the PTSD before my diagnosis, and you are 100% right. So yeah, um, anyway, tomorrow I have to go to the doctor just so they can note my records. Um, like there's days, um, for instance, the, I got home last night, and the two days prior, I had a total of seven and a half hours of sleep. And I must have gotten up at least four times in those seven and a half hours sleep. Um, my sleep schedule is all over the place. I'll stay up to 7 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll sleep till 11, and then I'm up till 4, and then I'll sleep till 1, and it's a mess. Nightmares, night tremors, like, like I can't breathe sometimes. So I decided, why am I getting all, to all that again? I pulled out my brushes. Like, painting is very therapeutic to me. I am by no means an artist, but I have fun with it. And uh, when I first pulled them up, they had a lot of art supplies. You guys have been telling me that, and boy, were you right. Timo is a place for art supplies because it can be expensive at Michael's. During COVID, I spent thousands and thousands. Yeah, during COVID. And it was hard to find so much as acrylic paints. Like they had nothing because everybody was home, locked up in their homes. I picked up the paintbrush and started doing crafts. Um, with that being said, um, I got this paintbrush holder. And this was $1.78. And it almost looks like a spoon rest. Um, I, I don't know if this is, uh, from what I've seen, they had it hanging like on a wall, right? So if you have an art studio, how genius is it to have it up like that? Now, eventually, when I complete the garage, I'll start a project, get bored, start another project. So that's why I'm waiting on the bathroom so I can stick with it. Just get bored. But yeah, you just put your paintbrushes in here. And then to brush them off, so I'm painting my picture. Bob Ross. Dip it in the paint. Brush off any excess paint. And then when I'm done, I'll set it out to dry. But yeah, you can hang it up, hence the notch. That would be cool. That's a good idea. I, I actually like that it has this little holder. Um, for me right now, though, obviously I won't be using the holder. I don't have it set up like that. You guys said that you like the long hauls. We're doing it. This next product was $14.44, but when I went to look at it, it was sold out. Not discontinued, but sold out. Gardening stuff. Pretty cute. So, um, I didn't have a lot of St. Patrick's Day decors, but I did, I'm starting to get into these gnome things. So we have a place called Inspiration Trail here, and people paint on rocks, and they, they uh, put these rocks, here's the trailway, right? Let me draw you a picture so you can see how talented I am as an artist. Not really, but you'll get the concept. Now oh, you're making me want to pull out these paints. So there's your trail, right? So Inspiration Trail goes all the way up to a mountain. And it winds around. It's got these switchbacks up and down these hills. But along the trail, they lined up all these rocks. And what people do is they'll hand paint these rocks. Have you ever find them? found them? Like if you're in the airport or a parking lot or even a park, People leave painted rocks, just words of inspiration, hence the name Inspiration Trail. Um, I've left a few up there. Um, I really want to paint this one boulder they have, like a mural, but we're not allowed to do that. You have to kind of bring them. So. But anyway, um, I've noticed uh, a couple friends, they have a 
fairy garden. Like if I can't keep up with the garden and I thought about doing it because I got the bird baths, I got the wishing well and stuff and I've got a cement wall that I could make a little gnome town, home sweet gnome, gnome sweet gnome. But I thought these were really cute. Now, I did think they were bigger, $14.44, but I thought they'd be cute regardless, maybe around my herb garden. I'm getting all this garden stuff. I better take the time to invest in it. But then again, that's going to be at least a week to set it up the way I want it, to get all the soil and the minerals and the vines and the planters. But you've got your stakes. Eek, eek, eek. And then, of course, on top of the stakes, look how adorable this is. The little mushrooms. Right? Now, are they solar powered? I don't think so because it looks as if there's a battery pack. And, you know, I thought I was so organized, but then again, isn't that a solar light? Let's see. The lighting in my kitchen is bad. Operation instructions. It has a solar panel box with the LED light strip, one piece, one pole, one pointed ground stake. It tells you the installation and how to do it. So, um, actually, oh, you guys, oh my God, how flippin' cute. Oh my gosh, here, let me grab one of my gnomes. This is the big one. Sorry, right, he's peeing. Look at him, that's Timo. Jay likes to pee outside, so I just got this little dude. But the other ones I have um, are really little. So they would be the perfect height because they come up to just about there. Should I do it? Should I go in the other room? I've already left you twice, right? Should I do it again? I'm going to do it. Sorry, sorry, I just got to show you. I thought I was prepared, but I forgot. I just want you to get the full details, but look, so I've got this, right? I think this was Timo too, I'm almost positive. And it's just like a little planner, but look, how darling is that? It's got the little steps, put a little tree in there. Got the little gnomes. But like I was thinking of setting this around the garden or up on the um, fence I have. But we got another little guy peeing. I showed all this in another haul. You got your little fireside. You've got Shannon as a gnome. Passed out with a bottle of wine. <laughs> There's Shannon when she first starts. Boy, it's been a long day at work. And then that's me. Oh, I'm so tired. And then I got Shannon at the campground who didn't put the fire out. And Jay comes over and says, I'll save the day. Psst, psst, psst. Anywho. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm silly. I'm a silly girl. Reminds me of being a little girl and just playing. But look, you guys, look how cute. So yeah, you can do it flashy like that. You can do a solid light. I don't know if that strobe light might affect some of you guys if you get seizures. And quite frankly, I don't know how. It looks like there is a remote, so it is. Twinkly. Let's hold it upright. Okay. That's one setting. Two, which is probably what I would leave it on, just a solid light. Just going for no. And they all kind of. There you go. So, yeah, how many are on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. 
have the instructions that has the state. And I love it. As you can see, come to my window. It's getting a little gloomy out there. Trying to, I put the uh, Christmas tree I got like two years ago out there to grow and my Easter flowers from two years ago as well. You can see I got my Timu window clings up. And uh, some of the Timu, I mean not Timu, this white box here was a thrift store for like $2. Those little shamrocks that are sticking out and the flowers I did in my last haul. And then, uh, of course, gee whiz, Shannon. Let the shenanigans begin here. My little gnomes. This is going to be one hell of a video. I am so sorry. Before you come at me hard, just know you will be deleted. <laughs> Not really. Um, really. But yeah, no, sorry for the moving around. Again, my back hurts. I told you guys I had this haul I was really excited to do. So um, I was given some constructive criticism and told to kind of slow my roll a little bit, calm down, take more time just talking. I thought most of you would be annoyed because that's all I ever do is talk, 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 talk. But you seem to be okay with it. And if you're okay, I'm okay. We're all okay. What? Oh, oh yes, of course. So guess what, guys? I am not going to leave you again just yet, but um, this was $7.59 and I use it. I couldn't resist. I love it. This would be in the top 10 for Timu. I don't know if I hauled it already, but it's just a leg pillow. And it's about the size of this paper, $7.29, sorry. And you just put it in between your knees. It's like a Tempur-Pedic, can you see? I love it. And it's got like a um, kind of a pillowcase covering and it's small enough for travel. So yeah, I really like that. What is this? I don't know. It came in one of the pads. It says wipes to remove excess dirt, dirt professional screen cleaning paper. Not quite sure what that came in. I don't know if they just throw it in the bag or what. Okay. So if you remember my last haul, I opened something and I didn't know what it was. And it had like these grates. It was, looked like this. It was black. And it pieced together. Well, I find, found out it's for like lapel pins, um, like um, on my cardigan for work or my uniform. You know, I'll have my name badge here. And then it was Shannon D. That's me. And then I'll put like a shamrock or a little leprechaun pin just to dress it up. Because yeah, our uniforms are pretty bland. Um, depending on what airline we're working, United uses gray shirts with the navy blue skirts or... We have a couple unifer universal uniform pieces. Say that 10 times. Universal uniform. Universal uniform. Universal uniform. Okay, three's enough. But uh, anywho, I, I've got quite a big collection of these pins. My grandmother used to wear brooches. Is that how you say? Brooch? Brooch? Brooches? And I've kind of gotten into it, so I'll dress it up accordingly. Little bunnies will be coming soon for Easter. I had the Valentine's Day hearts and kisses and X's and O's. But this, um, you see, again, let me make you dizzy. My minivan, uh, I just drive it twice a week to get to work because I fly into work. But we use it in the summer a lot when we go camping. Um, our favorite place to camp is called Pine Valley. It's about a 45 minute drive, give or take. A beautiful streaming water through it. You'll have like cattle and coyotes roaming around all over the place in the wild. I mean, just trickling little waterfalls. It is gorgeous. But we go up and you can go remotely, but typically we get um, 
what we've done is just get a camping spot. And I personally love the old school tents. I love the idea of hearing that zipper. Even when you gotta go out to pee, I like hooking it up. You know, my home away from home, even if it's an overnight camping trip, I'll put like little lights in there, carry the lantern, have the bonfire going over here, have your clothesline, have your picnic table set up. But what I did, I showed you the van because I took out all the seats. Uh, it's a Toyota Sienna, really has kept up with me. And we put like a mattress in there and we've got curtains over the windows in the back and it's really private and comfortable. When I tell you that the bed in that minivan and Jay's six too, and he fits comfortably. And so do I, um, so comfortable, more comfortable than my California King back here. But I've got a lot of pillows and I just keep obviously the mattress and blanket in there. But when I'm going to work, you know, I just throw my suitcases in, but I thought this would help me be a little bit more organized. This was $5 and 17 cents. And of course you put it in the back of your car if you're hauling groceries, it's pretty deep, collapsible, sturdy. Got your handles here, right? Even put your camping stuff in there. Look, I've got my cast iron pans, I've got my spices, I've got my towels, just fabric, play it like an accordion. But yeah, I just figured I'd put that in the back um, actually one of the things that'll be coming in a future haul is I got some car products. So I got the automated, um, battery jumper, like I have cables, but I've got the actual machine that you just zap the battery and it'll charge up. I've got the code reader, um, just a few other things. So $5, 17 cents, get that for the car. What bag do I grab next? Am I really down to one bag? I gotta be missing a bag. Huh? I guess because there was bulky items, I'm down to one. How are we on time, friends? Almost an hour. Wow, I thought this was gonna be another two hour haul. Again, thank you to all the new subscribers and to Hey Everybody for helping me gain a lot of you. Oh my gosh, when I was writing down all your names for the drawing, I was like, it's never ending. And that was just off the two hour video, my record breaking haul. You guys are absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's my drinking problem. Missing my mouth. Next product was $5.49. Now, I think I got this on uh, Amazon. And it is just. Um, $5.49, I'm to grab my glasses. Uh, Hydra Needle Skin Aesthetics Force, 20 needles, disposable beauty device, efficient and hygiene and portable. Now this was only for one of them. And what it is, um, basically you can, I didn't know you could use anything you want. Um, the, the kit that I got, I don't know what I paid for it. I wanna say it was like uh, maybe an infomercial type thing I saw, but it had a serum in it. And you know, 50 years old trying to find that fountain of youth, but it had the serum. And what I did to, cause you know, nobody likes a prick. I cracked myself up. Okay, got it. But it came with a serum inside this, uh, infomercial thing. Maybe it was like $60, $80 somewhere. I know it was under a hundred and I think I had five of these. So I don't know how well you can see that, but on here is some very fine needles. Oh, those are not sharp at all. How disappointing. The one I got, um, from online, not through Timo was a lot sharper. Those are not sharp at all. Those don't even feel like they would tear the skin. Oh, that's disappointing. Because you want it to hurt a little bit. That's how I know it's working. But the needles are small enough where they don't penetrate your, your you know, deeper levels of your epidermis, your skin. And it had the serum in them. And what I would do is I took my Timu frozen roller ball so that it would kind of plump up my skin, numb it a little bit. And then when it was as cold as could be, this already had the serum in it. And you just go all over your face. Just little patterns. You hold it deep for like 30 seconds. And then in the vial, 
the serum would penetrate deep inside the pore. And it was supposed to just help with fine lines, crow's feet, all of that. And then you just I'd watch a movie, spend like an hour, just pressure, pressure, pinpoint, pinpoint. But I will tell you, and you're not supposed to go too far under your eyes, but this, I can go harder. Watch me start like dripping blood, but I don't feel it. This is, they're not as sharp. Um, I don't know if that means it won't work, but this you get your own serum. And Timo has great, great beauty products. I mean, you can get anything with your collagen, your wrinkle fighting, um, plumper, lotion. If you need deeper, you know, if you've got really dry skin, you just put it in there. Now, I would think it would have to be pretty liquefied to get through those little pinholes. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I should do a comparison and maybe on my next haul, I will do another review and comparison to the one that I paid on, you know, $70, $80 for to this one. And on the back, it does have the instructions. Let's just see for giggles what it says to put in there. Um, okay. Instructions, uh, take the top of the applicator about 10 minutes. What? Oh, okay. Sanitize the top of the applicator for about 10 minutes with rubbing alcohol. I didn't do that. Wash your skin with warm water. Put the essence of the liquid into the applicator vial. So whatever your essence, liquid essence is going to be, just put it in the vial. Carefully screw the top back into the vial. Gently shake the vial two to three times. Remove the safety and hygiene cover. Pat, it says pat and roll the skin surface with the applicator gently until the essence of the liquid is fully absorbed by the face. Do not share the applicator with other people. Keep the applicator clean and keep it out of reach children. So I would just go like this, like a stamp. But I guess you're supposed to stamp, turn, stamp, turn. But you don't want to tear the skin, right? No thanks. Okay, there's quite a few items in here. So maybe it will be a longer haul. This next product was $8.79. Again, uh, with my diabetes, my vision is deteriorating rapidly. I am getting it checked out, but it has this little holder, kind of cute, little woodsy looking. Okay, just a screw on cap. Oh, you could use this for a toothbrush holder, um, even those little perfume testers, like at Ulta or your department stores, keep it in there if you want to be bougie and fancy. But um, what it is meant for is these threading needles. So I like to bring these with me to work because a button will pop off here, a rip here. But these needles, um, you know how you lick the end of the needle and you're like, try to pull it through, it's not there, lick it again, send, it doesn't go through. So these needles have an opening on the end up here. So as opposed to trying to get that needle threaded, I keep grabbing for my glasses. I don't really wear headbands that much. So it's, uh, I keep thinking my glasses are in my head. But uh, let's see. It's supposed to. And of course I don't have any thread, but guess what you guys? Oh, I see. It's got a, I, there's no way you're going to see that on there. I will be amazed. But right here, you would just take the thread, pull it up, pull it out. Can you see that little tiny opening? I thought it was more like a latch. Maybe it is. Let's see. I thought it was going to be like a spring loaded type of latch. It just looks like there's a hook. Hmm. I'll let you know how they work out. I mean, from first sight, not really impressed, but for $1.79, what are you going to do? I don't know. Do they even, you know what? If they don't have those, they need to make them where it's a latch, where you put, put it through the needle, the eye of the needle, latch it and then it'll close shut it. It doesn't look like it, it has uh, anywhere to close. But I'm gonna put this back in here. Man, I'm gonna be cleaning up tonight. I'll wait until he goes to work. Okay, shower curtain's gonna be coming soon. These are just 
the uh, ringlets, the inlets that I chose for the shower curtain. These were $5.98. And there are one, two, three, four, there's six, and there's 12. 12. Just little hooks, little decorative pieces, little leaves. $5.98. I'm not going to take those out for you. Do I need to? I'll do it for you. Just in case you can't see through the plastic or I can do it. Pretty realistic looking. It's like acrylic. Put it through the eyelet. And then that'll be just like the border to clip on your shower ring. Shower curtain. Shower rings for the shower curtain. That's what it is. Just those little small accent pieces. Some bathroom signs. This was five dollars and eighteen cents for this one. I'll take it out for you. Again, I gotta get Kelly over here to help me. Might have extra stuff that I'll be gifting once I get the bathroom set up to the way I like it. But keep an eye on this because this is the decor. You saw the wood shelves, so that'll go with the wood border. Just kind of part of a board. $5.18, it's all right for the price. It's got the hooks in the back to hang like this. Okay. But keep an eye on the bathhouse in the old school. I love a good clawfoot bathtub. And it says, bathhouse, wash away your worries. Okay. I wish it was that easy. This one was $4.98. So that one was a little pricier. Again, it's... Um, just look for farm. I think what I did in the search bar is I put in farmhouse um, bathroom decor. So it's got the same inlets to hang in the back and that just says hot bath, 25 cents, relax and unwind. It's got that kind of whitewashed, antiquing, um, distressed look. Now what I do worry about it being particle board and steam from the shower it's how it will hold up. I cannot wait to do this bathroom. But I want to do it right. Next product was $16.48. A bit pricey. And I must have put this in my cart like four or five times and I kept putting it back. And I said, I said to myself, Shannon, if they discontinue this product, you're going to be so upset you didn't get it. What's the worst case? I buy it. I don't like the way it looks um, or it doesn't match the decor, I gift it, right? Maybe one of my drawings, instead of doing the $100 giveaway, maybe I'll do a random drawing on my birthday to send my secondhand, never used, extra dupe item to somebody. And I slowly but surely, if I go to pull a sweater out um, and it doesn't fit or I didn't like the way it looked, I set it to the side to send out to somebody. So $16.48, it's towel wraps. Now, I can tell you off the bat what I like is that I thought it was one piece, and it's not. So I have no idea how these are going to hold it up, but it, it's got those little peel-off sticker brackets. We are not even going to bother with that, especially in a bathroom with steam. It's got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. Remember that from the electric company? Wow, it came with a lot of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Came with ten. So, what you do, obviously, I'm going to be drilling holes, hanging it up like this. So, that'll be the top into the wall. Okay, and then you've got these hooks on the bottom. So maybe I could put a towel here and the washcloth here hanging down or um, loofah sponges. Now I thought they were connected, I'm glad they're not. But what you do is you roll up the towel like, um, like this, right? Trying to look around to see if I have something to roll up. 
without doing the paper that would be just crinkling and for sure wake him up. But you just roll it like this, not fold. You know what rollers. I got one right here on my stomach if you don't. But um, yeah, and then you just set it like that. I Now how many, where, duh, didn't I just have a towel set? Shannon, let's pull out the towels. I just want to get, get your towel. Now this is just the hand towel, but I'm gonna roll it nevertheless. Rolling, rolling, human, rolling on the river. And of course, a towel, bath towel is going to be bulkier. There you go. Bam. So, bath towel. Okay, that's just the hand towel. You can do it like that and then put the dish rag on top, or dish rag in the bathroom, yeah. Let's do the towel, because now I'm curious. Because, let's roll it. Again, the towel is really nice quality, but I do wish it was a darker shade because I got a bath rug that is a darker green, I think. And I wanted it all the same color patterns, the same shades, not like a lime green and an evergreen or an army green. But it's a messy roll, but you get it, okay? Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Obviously, you can fit it more. And then maybe, like, if I wanted to hang, if I wanted just one towel there for, like, guest towels, I could always hang the face towel or the washcloth. But obviously, I would roll these up a lot tighter and a lot neater. But, you guys. I'll just do that now. This has a total of, that's one piece, two, three, four, five pieces. So five pieces, which I like. You can hook it together. You can spread them apart. If I wanted one here and then one down here and then one off the center, depending on how big your wall is. But I think how I seen it was like this. Oops, did I do it wrong? You sure did. Oh yeah. Come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. Don't you fret. There we go. So with five of them, just mount it and you could have it as long as you want. I could do two here and then put up the other two here and then one down at the bottom. I could put two by the sink on the side wall and then one in between my shelves. I put one over the toilet. I mean, possibilities are endless, my friends. But I love, did not know that uh, they were individual, but you can link them. You can link up. Very happy with that. All right, these things might just throw in again a giveaway because I never use them. I don't like them. I think they look cheap. And I try to look bougie, bougie on a budget. Shop like a billionaire. Look like your house is decorated by one with Timu. Next product, um, it's a stylus pen. It was $1.49. I got it in pink. I know they have different colors. And I was going to test it on my phone, but I'm recording with it. <laughs> you silly go. So I have a couple of these, but um, if I'm on the plane, am I supposed to leave that little circle thing on there? Anyway, on the plane, if it's a like three hour flight, I don't know if I'm supposed to take that. It's got like this circle on the end, but that looks like the stylus part. Yeah, if I'm playing my game, my like matching tin or whatever, that's cool to have. I'll see if it works. I haven't tried it out yet, but for $1.49, I got nothing to lose. Almost getting down to the bottom. I'm gonna save that for last because that is the back shower. That was the uh, shower curtain. Next product, 888. 888. Just the bathroom sign. Yeah, 
What did you guys do this weekend? Anybody go anywhere? 8.88. I don't even know what time it is. I'm going to be getting up at like 7.30, 7.45. This was expensive. The quality for 8.88, I would probably mark this as $3. I am really disappointed in this, actually. Here's the thing. It's going to match everything perfectly, but it looks like something I could have got at the dollar store, quite frankly. Um, this is probably so far, definitely, out of this haul, out of this video, the least it's not that it's my least favorite. It is just overpriced for $8.88. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. I'm okay with the size, but the quality is crap. And it just says, uh, like, today's a good day for a good day, of course. But look, you guys, like cheap. Eight, almost $9. And it doesn't even have like glass in it. It's just particle board. It is flimsy. Not my favorite at all and yeah this goes with those little tumbler cups and the toothbrush set like i was trying to match the wood the darker wood shelves with the lighter wood centerpieces and the planners and it's cute but um i mean i'm not going to send it back for 888 but uh i definitely would wait if you like it for the price to go down because the quality is just uh maybe three dollars is what i would put on the value of that definitely got suckered in that one next product is uh two dollars 55 cents there's 12 pieces but they're small i do have some wooden planners coming again i have tons of little planners little decorative pieces that i put up in here the greenery i think just makes everything pop and makes it feel more farmsy but yeah can you believe that little bunch is 12 pieces for two dollars and 55 cents i'm not mad though so that's one just to give you a size thing but the planners I got are really small and um, of course I, I've got my Timu wire cutters so I will wipe them down but there's 12 pieces for $2.55 and that'll just look cute in the little planners once I fluff them up in the bathroom and again I probably bought way too many because I even think I have more coming so I think one of these days I'll do a mystery box um, contest and I will either select a random winner or maybe have like a trivia question on something about this platform or this channel. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, maybe one of my questions will be something to the effect of who was the very first Timu Hall video that I saw. It was Twisted Gypsy. And second was, hey, everybody. Those were the very two first hauls I ever saw with Timo. And then from then, I saw a couple others like Hot Mess Mama and um, started binge watching and said, you know what, I want to I wanna try this. I want to see if I could do it. And uh, it's so much fun doing it. And here we are, almost 1,600 subscribers later. Ah. By the way. Question for my other haulers out there, like Ashton's Beauty and uh, everybody else. How long does it take for you to upload a video? I mean, I know the longer the video, I, I did a couple shorts just saying, hey, another team who haul's coming. You guys saw it, date night, date day. But um, for the most part on a video that's an hour and over, it takes me like six to eight hours to post. What am I doing wrong or is that normal? Or is it my piece of crap phone? I got an Android Nord 10. That's why the lighting will flicker and go in and out. Although I've seen it on other people's too. Sorry, uh, I got something in my eyelash and it is bothering me. Jay's always like, don't touch your eyes. We're getting down to the bottom of the barrel, y'all. It's fall, y'all. All right, so the next one was um, Timo has, like, I love their home decor. I love, love, love it. Um, and they had so many different bath rugs. And I'm like, okay, I like this green and this green will go with the towels better, but it had a stripe. And is that going to throw off the farm? You know, I like solid colors. I'm really not into that many patterns, but I did have a rug set that was like a lighter green, like the color of the to towels, um, but it was green and white. And I actually might go back and try to find that again, but we'll see when I get the bathroom up and running how I like it. Um, this is just a bathroom rug. It is like the shaggy feel. 
Um, now the Valentine's Day rug that I had was kind of like the Elmo, I called it the Elmo rug because it was like furry, long hair shag. I didn't like that on my feet, especially the wet feet. It was just like a wet dog up under my feet. Didn't like it. This, I do have other rugs like this. It's kind of, I'll show you. It's the fluffier, but this is like water absorbent and they actually had a video when I saw this rug where they poured water on it and wrung it out. Like it just absorbs the water. It was $11.98. Now, watch my haul. Why am I doing that? It's kind of um, habits. But if you watch my hauls, you'll notice my <laughs> my products have gone from like thirty cent to a dollar to three dollars, and I say, "Oh my gosh, I paid four dollars for this." So now I'm up to what the most expensive item I've ever hauled, which I think was that shelf set that was almost thirty-five dollars. Quality, worth it, yeah. Could I find it at Ross? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And then I just look at it, hey, if I don't like it, free returns. But yeah, my um, prices are going up. But I, I think I'll have to add up, which I'll do. Maybe that'll be a good contest giveaway, right? When I get the bathroom done, I'm hoping, again, I have very, I only have three days off in March, very limited time off. So I'm thinking, Realistically, spring cleaning, um, probably April I'll start on the bathroom. Now I love to paint. It is a lot of work, it's not a big bathroom, but um, I don't know if I can, I have these vinyl borders. Let me know guys, do you, you know what I'm talking about? They're like vinyl borders, footboards around the bathroom. I don't know if I can paint over those because they're like, I'll show you, like the crown molding I might be called, but it's like a vinyl. And I want to paint that. Like if I do a light gray wall, I'm thinking that I will do uh, white borders in the bathroom. And then I'll show you the ceramic tile that we have throughout the house, which isn't bad. It's very porous, so it sucks them up. Um, I even want to get lights. Like maybe, yeah, you know what? I, I could do it now, but uh, maybe. We'll see how the rest of the video plays out. I could show you a before and after. I should probably do it before I actually start the bathroom. But I, I've got, um, let's do some more drawings. Speaking of which, I've had a couple people ask me to do my makeup, uh, get ready with me, which is a great idea. And then the other uh, one, somebody wanted me to do like a paint video, which I might. But, oh, this is so basic. Basically, and you guys are making me want to pull out my paints again now. Let's do it. All right, do here. It's my jury duty paper. Maybe. All right, so. I'll give you an idea of what I want to do in the bathroom. Let's play win, lose, or draw. So I want to replace these lights. So, okay, this is my mirror. I need to do a self-portrait so you can see that it's a mirror. <laughs> there you go. That's me looking in the mirror. <laughs> I'm a good I know. But anyway, I've got, um, there's my mirror, obviously just basic sink, counter comes over here like this, over here like this, and then there's a bath, a uh, toilet. But up above here, and I did see that they have the lights on Timu, it's just a silver, it's very early 90s silver, and then it's got the giant, um, I call them movie star lighting, like, you know, when they see in the old movies, the retro movies where they have the globes, so it's got the globes there. But I saw some really cute lighting sets that were farm wood. It was like wood with the black, oh, just like little um, carrying lantern lights there. So yeah, eventually I want to do the countertops, but you'll see because I am not brave enough to do it. But my girlfriend, Kelly, she lives for that stuff and I'm going to have her come over. I actually saw her today when I was walking downtown. She drove by and she goes, all the neighborhoods going to crap. She saw me walking with Jay. She's so funny. But um, I texted her and said, hey, you got to come over here before I buy the lighting to see if she could do it. Like, she's one of those people, she will watch a YouTube video 
how to rebuild a car engine. And the next day, she's got a car sitting in the driveway that she rebuilt the engine. So I'm going to ask her. I'm going to say, okay, what's going to go with this decor? This is all the stuff I have with it. And I'm kind of looking in the bathroom, and it's so cute. But then I have this huge monstrosity of a mirror in there. And it covers over the whole back of the wall. But I want to do it myself. And the cabinets, you know, are so expensive to fix. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can sand it and um, do it like a black. Maybe the black. No, maybe the, the wood to match the shelves would be ideal. Like it's a cherry walnut wood for those floating shelves I showed you. <gasps> I'm brainstorming, y'all. I could sand it down and stain that to match that. And then I know they have the little gadgets for the, uh, like you could see. No, anyway, I can't see, but my ceiling fan lights, they have the little knobs. Okay. Sorry, I get these ideas and I forget all about them with my absent-minded and all the medication I'm on. <laughs> I'm not sharp. Anyway, this rug is the one I was telling you is the water, waterproof. I just went off on a 10-minute tangent. You guys sure you like these hauls and me talking as much? I'm sorry. 100% polyester. Machine wash cold, gentle with the color, so it's washable. I like that. And it is super, super soft. So it is the darker green. And um, I don't have a lot of space between the toilet bowl and the edge of the tub. So this will be perfect because I could put that in front of the tub. And this should come around where the bowl ends. Because I've done the squares before and they work, but I can't have the bottom of the bowl things. But is there a name for this, you guys? You know these rugs that have like these... What do they look like? Coral kind of in the ocean. But this is like an emerald green. Really, really soft. Really pretty. I like it. So yeah, there's the rug. Sorry. How many more do we have? Just a few. Just a few. Almost an hour and a half. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. cute. $6.79. Damn it. Damn it, I wish I would have showed you guys some of the things that I make for crafts. Again, I love wood. I, I grew up kind of near a wooded area. I used to play in the woods all the time. And now I live in the desert with saguaros and cactuses and palm trees. And I miss, I just miss the smell of rain in the forest and the soil. So... This is what I'm thinking. I've made some like candle holders and I've um, went and stripped, didn't strip the bark off the tree, but the bark that fell on the ground and I hot glued it to some candles and made something like this, but with tree bark. And let me tell you, yeah, it's got, yeah, it's real wood. So it's for tea lights. It's meant for your candle, just little tea light candles. And Jay and I actually started talking a little bit about planning the wedding. And we're both pretty outdoorsy. We love to hike. I don't know if that was supposed to fall off, but I like that it did. Definitely real wood. We like to hike. So we're going to do an outdoor wedding. And I think we're going to get married in the small town of Bristol, PA, where I grew up um, off the Delaware River. And we'll either get married there or inside this old, old church called St. James in Bristol, PA. It's from the 1600s. Um, and take our pictures down by the Bristol Wharf. Who knows? But um, I want a fall wedding. And I'm going to have like decor like this. I already started buying a lot of Timu stuff on it. But this is a set of three. Okay. You put your tea light candle in there. And what did I say it was? $6.79. Most people would say that's kind of pricey. But I like it. Put on my extra batteries in here. <laughs> I'm looking for a tea light candle. I told you, I like wood, right? Everything, everything. Wood, coasters, wood, pot holder. <laughs> anyway, I thought I had tea light candles in there to show you, but I don't. So anyway, how cute is this? I like to put just as uh, on the tables, right? Tea light candles when we uh, get married at the reception. Did I buy it for that? No, I'm just gonna. Spring to me would be a good idea. But also, like for my little gnome town, right? Have them sitting around a log. That's kind of the decor I had in the other room with them. 
or just chilling under the tree stumps. But yeah, I, I just like it as a decorative piece, like I said, to fill in some of the gaps on the shelves, which I really don't have a lot. And stack it up as one. Oh my gosh, if I could like whittle wood, I don't even have to learn a lot about it, just to whittle. Mom jokes, come back at me. Come back at me. One of my uh, subscribers said, I knew you would make a comment like that. Love it. I love the mom jokes. Oh, come on, mom. You're so stupid. You stupid. So yeah, I'm trying to match it up to see if it was one piece, but yeah, it could be. But yeah, I just thought that would be really cute. You know, I think I might get a bunch of these. I think I might buy them in bulk. We spent a couple hundred. I think at our wedding, we're planning on 150 to 200 guests and about 140 will be mine. <laughs> The joys of staying in touch with people from elementary school. All right, next product. Um, when I looked it up on my receipt, it said Halloween. And I'm like, I did notice today, though, on Timo, like, we got all our Easter stuff coming out. Do you know they already have the fall decor out again? Tell me it goes by so quick. It goes by so quick. Anyway, it said Halloween. It's a badge lanyard. It was $4.38. Again, I have the same kind of bling. Your girl loves to bling on my other badge set and um i get so many compliments on that what i don't understand about this right off the bat is it has a screwdriver or allen wrench i guess you could say right is that the allen wrench no maybe not the allen wrench it's just a little flathead screwdriver and it has a nail maybe that's to repair if it breaks got me by the and it's got like this. Hold up. Might take an hour. Let's see if I can do something without instructions. So, this looks like it would go in here. Maybe. Okay. It's got like a horseshoe. And then this looks like it's supposed to go in here. And then there's this little ring. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to look at this. And then you got this tool, I guess to tighten it. And then you've got this. Oh my gosh. So you've got one, two, three of these rings. One, two, three. Do they open? Looks like they open somewhat. Do you guys know what this is? Why do I have this with this? With these three rings, the screwdriver and the bar, and then I have this. So maybe for your badge, my work badge, the lanyard, maybe these little circles are supposed to clamp on here. I'll have to figure it out. But one thing I will tell you, I just wear my badge around my neck. Again, you've seen it in the videos because when we go through our TSA screening, they have to scan our badges. United actually is doing something different. Oh, I didn't even get back to the United uniforms with gray other than navy for a different colored and make with the pins spicing up the uniforms. Anyway, when we go through, if I had my badge in the lanyard like this, we have to take it out because they scan it under a special light to make sure we are authentic, that we are who we say are, we are the crew working that plane. But anyway, here is the badge lanyard. Now what is on there? It's got just like a little decorative piece, like a teardrop, pear-shaped, which is pretty. But the decor on this, oh my God, it looks like a pot leaf. That might not be allowed. <laughs> Maybe it's an olive branch, but look at the bling on that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, back, sorry. So I'm assuming this, I'm gonna break it. How do I open it? Mm, there's a screw or something in there. See, can you see that little, 
You guys, I don't know what I did. I'm afraid. So I really like it. I don't want to break it. But maybe I could put the badge through here. I'm trying to think on how the badge link works. This has got to somehow go on here. Like, how? I am probably making something so simple, so complex. <sighs> I wish I had even a hook here. I don't know. And I don't know why it said Halloween on it. But um, it makes me want to go get my badge out of the other room. But again, I don't want to do that to you to figure out why. Anyway, enough about that rambling, going on and on, drawing pictures of my bathroom for you guys. I already know the negative comments are coming. Don't waste your finger energy, as another subscriber said. It's not worth it. I'm struggling today. I am taking my time. I look forward to doing these hauls, and um, I don't want to rush through it. I want you to see the products and to get an honest review. If you guys know how to set this up, please help me out. I will try to read all of your comments again. I cannot stress that enough that I am not lazy. I want to respond to all of you. In fact, I want to talk to you just like I'm talking now. But um, don't always have the time. So I will come back to that. That's it. Let's do it. Almost done. Ow. Uh, next product. I think I have three left. This was $2.24. What is it? It is just a USB cord, you guys. Um... And what I have, I'm waiting for it to go out any day. I've had it for two years. And um, I like to keep one in my work bag. I like to keep one in the car. I like to keep one in the bedroom. By the bed when I'm charging. One in the living room. And it is a pretty pink 249. Hopefully you got the right size because I don't read instructions. And the length on this for 249, it says high quality original accessories usb data cable i get the longer ones this one um is a rose golden color and it's 9.9 feet 9.9 feet that that cannot be that can't that can, you know what i gotta open it there's no way that's like monstrosity a cute little rubber band because it says 3m slash 9 by 9 feet but then it also says 118 inches. Oh, that, yes. You know what, you guys? That's nine feet, all right. Perfect. <laughs> and the reason being, and that's doubled. There's both ends. Yeah, that's definitely nine feet because I'm five one. And uh, it's folded over in half and it comes up to... Let's see. There. Yeah, so that's, wow. That could be the very longest cable cord I ever had, but a lot of times, too, in the hotel rooms, um, they don't have that many outlets, you know, next to the bed, or they have the sleep saw machine, or all these lamps or something hooked up to it. So if I'm limited, or even in the airport, some chairs, you know how they have the plugs to charge your phone? Um don't work so you gotta plug it in at the wall and then you know can't be crammed up gets a wall i'll take it i'll take that nine foot usb cord <laughs> two more products this one was three dollars and 98 cents and that is gonna be it god can you imagine if i got the other five bags this is only three of eight partially delivered partially delivered i don't even know what the total was on my orders I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, oh, this is glass. Uh, I'm really surprised it didn't break because it's a very thin grit glass. $3.98. Again, I was thinking this for the bathroom. And it is just a vase. A vase. A vase. A vase. Is that what it says? Yep, yeah, just a vase. So let's see. Of course, I gotta cut these down. Mm. 
Yeah. After this video, you don't need to see me take out the wire cutters and cut them down, but let me see how far down. I'm not going to. They're not even, so I don't want to screw with it. But again, let's say uh, you have a purple bathroom and you want a purple ribbon, get a hot glue gun. What I'm going to do is the burlap string that was on the other ones, I've got that rope that I got from the dollar store in my crafting closet. And I might even just wrap it around the whole bottom, go up like a snake like that. Maybe leave a little bit at the top or maybe put some of those glass beads on the bottom, which is cool with this. If you've seen um, the little glass beads that I have in my vase in the other room, I do it for St. Patty's Day. I do it for Easter. I'll do the pinks and purple in the spring. I'll do the orange and bronze and uh, dark greens in the fall. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think on the bottom, I'm going to use those decorative bottom vase fillers. And then maybe at the top, maybe just around the lid, I will do the burlap string just here. Maybe I'll go down this way and do stripes. I'm going to do something with this just to spark it up a little bit. All right, last and final product, my friends. Are you ready for the bathroom shower curtain? Here's the thing. I had six, six shower curtains in my cart for about three months. And I knew I wanted to redo my bathroom. I kind of got, I love purple, but I got tired of it. I'm like, I need to update this biatch. And this is the one I decided on. Now remember, I've got a lot of greenery that's going to go on. I've got some olive. I had a, a a lighted olive branch too. So what I did, what I have now in the bathroom, I have the fake floral garland, and I wrap it around the towel bar, around the purple guest towels with a couple little bouquets of flowers, like in the center. And it's cute. Don't get me wrong, it's cute. But I wanted a farmstead bathroom, right? Remember, I'm showing you some of the signs. You see the vases and everything in the back. I love, I wish. Okay, that log cabin, let me put it back out there. Um, antique, um, deep footed claw bathtub. Love it. All right, here's the shower curtain I decided on. And make sure for me, I can't use the plastic because it sticks to my body. I have to have the fabric. These donations. But this is the one I went through. Can you guys visualize my bathroom yet? What does it say? Relax, soak, unwind. Now I do have to get the clear liner. I have to get the clear liner to separate the fabric. So I think I will be running down to Target tomorrow for Ross. But do you see how it has like the antique kind of wood look? I guess because it has the dark green and the light green patterns, the light green towels are more like this and the dark green bath mat. That I mean, it'll match. But look. It's got the antique tub. And it says bathhouse. Right? Now, do I just throw this in? I, I would think I would just put the hot water on and steam this, like the curtain by itself, to get these wrinkles out. But isn't that cute? Can you see the bathroom? Can you imagine it with the dark floating shelves? I've got to get a little soap dish that is shaped like an antique tub. I think I've seen those on Timo. Like this, I might not even use. I got it because of this to match that, but I might not have enough room. So maybe in a future giveaway, some of these things could be yours. So what do you think? Are we at two hours? Did I break the last record? I don't think I did. 
144 I'm off by 10 minutes. But you know what? I am going to wrap it up because it'll probably take two days to post. I am anticipating another package tomorrow. I think there's only four items in there. Um, maybe two of them will arrive. I don't know. I also have my mystery box coming from Cindy Reviews for you. Anyway, I only have, when, what's today? Today's Sunday. I have, uh, yeah, Sunday, Monday off. I go back to work Tuesday. And then I think I'm off for three days. So I'm debating whether or not to do a quick haul tomorrow, but I think because you guys like these longer videos, I'll just price it up and get ready to uh, do it when I come back. Anyway, anyhow, anywho, thank you guys for being here with me with Timu. Once again, I am so grateful for every single one of you, for all of the positive feedback, all the encouragement, all the constructive criticism and advice. Thank you for your assistance in trying to help me grow this channel, not just by putting my name out there, but for liking and subscribing. But yeah, please refer your friends to me. I will refer my friends to you, all of those that have channel. Once again, don't forget to check them out and check the comments, read each other's comments, correspond, say hello, make a new friend, get to know each other. This platform, I will say it to the day I die, has been nothing short of a blessing, a huge blessing. Literally took me out of the pits of despair and depression and pulled me out and helped me to socialize, even if it's behind a camera. And I talk to a lot of people that never show their face and that's okay. Cause you know what you see, you see what's inside and what's inside these bags and what's underneath that causes these bags. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for putting up with me. Thank you for being here. Much love to you. We'll see. Any bets? Any gambles? What do you guys think? Do you think I'm going to hit that 2,000 subscriber mark in a week? A month? I don't know. Some subscribers, subscribers will drop out. Some will come back. We'll have some trivia for you. Again, Maybe one of them is the first two people that I saw hauling Timo was Twisted Gypsy. And hey, everybody. Became really good friends with a few other people. Courtney, our little gingerbread house. Uh, Cindy Reviews for you. Ashton's Beauty. Shout out to my girl Menopause. Oh, madness. Can't forget about you, of course. Hillbilly Heart. Girl's got my heart. I just love her to pieces. Um, so many other people. Again, take a shot. Get out there. Film. Film, recipes, hauls, thrifting, dollar stores, crafting. I love it all. I want to see it. Gardening, bring it. Travel, bring it. I will be watching. All right, you guys. Hope you have a blessed day and rest of your week. And I will be back with more shenanigans. Can I say my own name? Er, rewind. Again, I don't watch my own videos or correct my mistakes. To air as human. Welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. Au revoir. Buenas noches. Buenas. Thanks for being here. Have a great day, guys. Much love. Bye.